when you collaborate with uh, artists, musicians, anyone, writers, whoever it is, it's all about your, uh, your chemistry. Like if you are trying to like collaborate with someone, you don't respect him as a person or an artist or point of view or anything, or there's a clash of egos, like, yo, I'm better, or I've been in the game longer, your voice doesn't matter. But see, but when you're dealing with like a real artist and it's been doing it for a while, all that stuff doesn't matter because your goal is just to make something cool. That's what Brandt is. He's just, he just wants to do cool things with cool people. So I end up meeting Brandt through a mutual friend. At first I was like, oh no, this is like my first like time am I gonna be dealing with like a major like dude. So I was like kind of like he like hesitant and a little nervous. I was like, I didn't know what what's up because I was like, I'm like a weirdo, you know? I don't know how some people either like me or you don't like me kind of guy. And then on the phone he was like all bubbly and all happy and like super cool. I'm like, oh, all right, this guy is cool. And then I meet him at NBC at the Tonight Show and dude, we just hit it off, you know? You, you know, sometimes you just can meet someone and you just have automatic chemistry, you know? Everyone has their own mind, right? Everyone has their own experiences in life that gets built on like experience, the experience which allows them to have their own voice, right? And their own way of looking at things. And this is how what suits will never understand. They tell an artist exactly what they want to do. You know, they don't let an artist, you have to experiment and you have to mess up many, many times to finally get a product that's really cool. Brandt understands that and he's like, yo, Aaron, like, dude, like, come up with something, just come up with some cool stuff, you know? I, I just, you know, I wanna see what your voice can do. He understands, because he's an artist himself, allowing me to have that freedom allowed me to do like really cool things, you know, like the bubble set. It's so out there and like, weird and it's never really been done before that someone like the MB NBC Tonight Show, they might not go for it. But I like showed it to him and I like had like a couple, right? That I was like, all right, these are like a little more safe. No matter what, he'll get like these, right? And he'll, he'll be able to get NBC to approve these. But then I like slid in the, the bubble set one. And right away when I showed him like all four or whatever it was, he was like, oh, the bubble set, that's what I want to do. I'm like, oh shit, Brant, you're a fucking G, dude. Cause that's like one that I slid in there that I thought was the coolest, but I never thought would ever get approved just because it was so kind of weird and out there. But that was the one that he was like, yo, that's the one. And that's when I knew Brant gets, he's the man. He's someone that can uh, bring the suits and the artists together because those guys clash all the time. They always have different agendas, different ways of thinking, but he knows how to like bring it all together to make something cool that the suits will, okay, he's the missing link. Because executives in the suits, they're lame, they're so lame. They don't know anything about the creative process, about what's cool, what's new, because their whole thing is what has been done in the past that was successful. They don't wanna like take any chances. They don't wanna take risks. And in some ways I understand that. You know, they don't wanna take risks. They don't wanna lose their job, you know? They don't want any bad marks on their name, but Brant, However he was able to do it, which I give him all the credit in the world, he was able to kind of change that way of thinking for a major network television show. Change up the set. Uh, with each artist and musician, you know, rather than just have one bland set that every other show does. Stuff that he was really impressed about was all the art I did for the Coachella Festival, how I made art for all the different bands that perform there. I mean, that's perfect. That's exactly what he does, right? He makes art for musicians, all sorts of musicians, right? And um, he saw how I would do like certain portraits, right? And certain paintings. And he was like, yo, Aaron, I want to do something with people dancing all over the place, but I want it to be cool. And I want it to like look really badass and like contemporary and your style. So come like, 
to come up with some things, you know, that'll get that point across. And I did that. I like painted like all these different people that he knew, including him. Is I think he was one of the models too. I just gave it to him, and he's like, "Dude, this is perfect." <laughs> and we did. That was it. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like he's so cool. It's just so easy if I like meet someone that wants to hire me and they're not like Brent. I'm like, oh my god, this guy's lame, and I don't want to do it. So he like set the standard for how you know like who I think is cool and what a collaboration should be. So definitely, I mean, dude, Brent's the man.